All right, so here's an introduction to logistic functions. And logistic functions typically model some sort of population. All right, so P of T. So let's just say it's the number of fish in a pond. And what this function will do is it, it says population kind of behaves like this. Well, we start off with some number, this height, at T equals zero. And then initially, we'll grow pretty fast. Right, we'll grow pretty fast, but then eventually we're going to kind of bump up into this limit, right? Maybe the pond isn't big enough to hold more fish than whatever we have here. And so this is what the graph is always going to look like. This is what the formula is always going to look like. And so what do all of these letters mean here? What do all of these letters mean? All right, so the first thing we'll notice is that our graph kind of levels off, right? That, that pond is only so big, and it's going to level off just at L. All right, that's a nice kind of easy rule to remember. This number on top, that's kind of your, that is your maximum number that you'll ever get to. Now, another thing that we kind of notice is, well, we're kind of growing slowly here, right? My tangent line here doesn't look very fast. My tangent line here doesn't look very fast. There's a spot where I'm increasing the fastest, right? I'm increasing the fastest right there. That's actually an inflection point. And the spot I'm increasing the fastest is when the population, not the time, when the population is equal to L over 2. So when P of T is equal to L over 2. And then this other thing down here, just, just kind of a side note, what is this K? Well, for small values of T, K is your continuous growth rate. So there might be a problem that just asks you what the, what's the growth rate. Well, you'll just want to enter this K. But big, big ideas here, this L is your limiting factor. And plugging in T's here gives you a population for that T over here. So let's just go to a quick example just so we can kind of get uh, a little more intuition about what's going on here. So let's say that the population of Chicago in millions is given by this formula here. And so let's just sketch out what it's going to look like. What's the, what's the population of Chicago going to look like? Well, we know it's going to level off at 10. Right, And without worrying about the horizontal scaling at all, the only other thing we would want to know is what's the initial population here? So the initial population will be when uh, t is equal to 0. So we'll plug in 0 for t, and we'll get 10 over 1 plus 4 times e to the 0, which is 1. So this is 10 over 5, which is just equal to 2. So it starts at 2. As I said earlier, my carrying capacity, my number on top, was 10. And so the graph is going to look something like this without worrying, my, worrying about my horizontal scaling at all. So just what you want to take away from this, plug in T here, get population here, and this is kind of your limiting number.